All righty. It is January 26th, 2023. And I just got back from watching Megan at the cinema. A new horror movie, dark comedy, whatever you wish to call it. Okay, so imagine this, right? You're a little girl who has just lost her parents. The main protagonist, the little girl that loses her family, is called Katie. And both very much hooked on technology, because this movie does a very clever spin on the modern addiction that we find ourselves in on all fronts of technology. You know, children's toys, apps, iPads, phones, computers, and how the the mishmash between technology consuming our lives is really becoming a thing. So, after Katie's parents pass, she is sent off to her auntie, and this woman has no comprehension of how to deal with kids, anything like that. But she's very intelligent and is a toy designer for like an AI company. Toys have been driven by AI in this universe. So in order to better help Katie deal with her grief, she creates an android to be her companion. And I mean a learning, intelligent android to be her companion, who pairs with this girl, the android pairs with this girl, and over time becomes closer and closer and closer to her, with her prime directive being safeguarding her emotional and physical well-being but as time goes on and this this ai this android learns more and more and more about the world around her sentience life and death she becomes increasingly more protective of katie to the point where anybody that wrongs this girl is perceived as a threat and in that creepy kind of animatronic way, she just starts, shall we say, removing people that become an issue to the little girl she's paired with. By an all manner of creepy doll-like ways. That's the best way to put it. If you have a phobia of animatronics or something, ooh, you're you're gonna have a fun time with this. You're gonna have a fun time with this. But yeah, just a, a short little piece. I wasn't expecting much out of this movie, to be fair. I didn't even know it was coming around until I saw a video from the critical drinker of all people. And he said that the film was pretty decent. And just his coverage of it sparked my attention. I didn't spoil myself in any way, but I thought to myself, you know what? It's been a long time since I've watched a horror movie dark comedy. So I'm going to go in and check this out. And I was especially surprised by its tight pacing, solid pacing, the, the well-paced horror scares, the unnerving elements that come with robotics and animatronics, and also those really subtle weavings of tech and our dependence on it. And you definitely see that from Katie's perspective, as she becomes more and more dependent on this living doll, this android. As, and the android in turn becomes more, pres should we say, possessive and protective of her with some very dangerous consequences. But yeah, in a brief nutshell, check this out. Check this out. A low bu budget horror movie with, you know, a cast of people that you really haven't heard of. And it'll be, it'll be a, a good one for you. It'll be a pleasant surprise. But as I said previously, fair warning, if you have a phobia of androids, robots, or animatronics, 
be careful with this one because uh, I have a bit of a problem with animatronics and androids and probably fed into why I felt some of it was so uncomfortable. So yes, Megan, check out the movie while it's still got some screenings left. It's still got a week or two left in the UK just looking at um, cinema listings in general. But yeah, it's a good one. A surprising good one. And you don't see many horror films that sort of pace their horror without shooting the proverbial load completely and utterly too quickly. So yes, it's your boy Silver giving you an unscripted, very, very long-winded discussion on why you should go and see a B-horror movie. Go and check it out. You won't regret it. Next time I go see something, I will be sure to let you guys know. Thanks for stopping in, and I will see you again very soon. Take care, guys.